Structured design is based on two main concepts, safety and functionality. Both of them have to be guaranteed for the whole service life of the structure that is generally assumed equal to 50 years for conventional construction or 100 years or more for strategic constructions. The designer has to consider that during the construction life, the global resistance usually reduces due to durability problems, while uh, safety demand increases because the loads become heavier as it occurs in the bridges, or new actions, exceptional ones, have to be considered like dynamic loads, have in mind seismic and blasting loads or fire loads. So even for such increase of resistance demand, often construction have to be retrofitted. I would emphasize that structural retrofitting requires knowledge. A lot of new bound research topics plays a key role in the retrofitting design, like new materials such as fiber reinforced composites with a polymeric or cementitious matrix, the on-site assessment of bearing capacity that requires non-destructive techniques used for the identification of the mechanical characteristics of the construction materials and new reliable monitoring techniques. In the proposed model, students will learn with the help of national and international experts how to design a structure retrofitting for seismic, impact or blasting loadings, starting from an existing structure and the on-site structural assessment based on several identification tests. The structures taken into account could be made of concrete, steel, masonry and timber. The free loadings mainly considered are characterized by three different frequencies, progressively increased passing from seismic to blast. The related scenarios are earthquake, landslide rock falls, floods and accidents like fire or blast caused by terroristic attack.